Ferguson. I'm a senior, and this is my persuasive. Recently, I was scrolling through Facebook and came across a quiz. Now, the quizzes on Facebook can range from what Chinese symbol are you to which crumb off your plate best resembles your life. But this was different. This quiz was how concerned are you about the environment? My results for the previous quizzes were dragon, biscuit crumb, and you are very concerned about the environment. An increasing number of people are becoming more concerned about the environment, and for good reason. It is imperative that we pursue wind and solar to produce our energy. To fully understand why, it is important to be aware of what types of harmful systems are used to create our energy, and then learn about renewable energy systems available, and finally, discover how to implement them into our lives. In the last 70 years, our society has drastically improved its productivity. From the cars we use for transportation to the outlets we plug our iPhones into, it is all designed to use less energy. But do you know how that energy is generated? The U.S. Energy Information Administration, EIA, released an electricity generation breakdown on March 21st of 2015. According to the breakdown, 67% of the electricity produced in the United States comes from harmful fossil fuels. The EIA went on to note that wind and solar put together make up just 4.8% of the electricity produced in the United States today. Coal is the most common type of fossil fuel used to create energy. Mercury, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, and dozens of other harmful chemicals have been found to be admitted into the atmosphere during the combustion process of energy production. The Physicians for Social Responsibility, or PSR, pointed out as far back as November of 2009 that these chemicals can, are not only harmful to the earth, but they can have devastating effects on the human body. PSR made note of the fact that each year, up to 600,000 children in the United States are born with birth defects that directly correlate from the mother's exposure to coal pollution. This number is only increasing, making renewable energy a viable consideration. Coal is without a doubt one of the most lucrative industries and with that comes the ability to influence politicians who will vote against clean energy bills, which is one of the reasons we are not using as much renewable energy as we should be. Coal is clearly one of the most detrimental energy producing systems. Luckily, there are many other alternative systems that use 100% renewable resources. The renewable energy systems that would be most beneficial to energy production are wind, solar, and hydropower. Agriculturalists around the world have been harnessing the power of wind for decades, and I believe we, the business and residential districts, should be following suit. The Global Wind Energy Council has proven that a wind turbine produces electricity 70 to 80% of the time. Now, when people think of wind turbines, they often think of the massive white machines that can be seen for miles around. While these are common, they are not the only type of wind turbine available. Vertical axis wind turbines, or VOTs, are commonly used for small-scale needs. According to the American Wind Energy Association, there are 54 different types of models of small wind turbines making it very easy to find a model that can fit the needs of your home or business. Solar power technology is also a rapidly growing renewable resource. The United States Energy Department released its findings in a February 2012 study titled the Sunshot Vision Study. And it said that the amount of solar energy falling on the United States in one hour during the summer is equal to the United States annual energy demand. Solar power is very user friendly because there is no restriction to size or model. 
A panel might be as small as a cookie sheet or as large as the roof of a barn. The possibilities of solar power are truly endless. Hydropower is currently the most common type of renewable energy system being used today. By using the phenomenal power of water, we are able to harness the water's kinetic energy and turn it into mechanical energy. Hydroelectric power provides power to 12% of the United States, as stated by the FWEE, Foundation for Water and Energy Education. Another benefit of hydropower is that it can even have positive effects on wildlife and fish habitats. Because of devices like fish ladders and the strategic location of dams and power plants, we can even create habitats for animals and salmon can safely carry on their migration patterns. In the United States, most of the water locations suitable for a hydroelectric system are already being used. This leaves little room for growth, which is why it is so important to pursue wind and solar to produce our energy. So knowing how dangerous coal is and realizing there are methods to create clean energy is comforting. But what is also important to note is that renewable energy is here and it is here to stay. On February 21st of 2015, the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, released a statement highlighting its Rural Energy for America program, or REAP. When reading this program statement, it said that it is specifically tailored for farmers, ranchers, and small business owners. The USDA is making almost $300 million available for the installation or improvements of renewable energy systems. These systems must be commercially available and include wind, solar, ocean, small hydropower, hydrogen, <coughs> geothermal, and renewable biomass. The U.S. Department of Energy said that wind power alone could provide 80,000 new jobs and $1.2 billion dollars in new income by the year 2020. It's easy to blame the fossil fuel companies for our environmental woes, but every single person possesses some responsibility as well. By tripling our use of biofuels, we could create 20 billion dollars in new income and reduce carbon emissions by the same amount as taking 70 percent of the vehicles off of the roads. Solar energy can also play a leading role in helping to reduce carbon emissions. Because of the grants and loans available for renewable energy systems, everyone can work to increase productivity while remaining earth friendly. Nebraska is capable of producing 75% of its electricity from solar power, according to Russell Hubbard of the Omaha World Herald in an article titled Wind and Solar Could Supply Nebraska's Energy Demands, published on February 19th of 2015. Habitat for Humanity is also making great strides to reduce global warming while also saving families. They <laughs> launched a program in 2013 that put small solar units on the homes of poverty-stricken families. These families can expect to save over $17,000 a year by the, with the installation of these solar, solar panels. This amount of savings could be the difference between putting food on the table or keeping the lights on, all while reducing this country's dependence on fossil fuels. Omaha's Habitat for Humanity chapter raised $30,000 for the installation of these solar units for families in Nebraska. There are 1,400 affiliates in the United States and 63 in Canada. In just one year, they installed solar units on 5,000 homes of low-income families. There have been arguments that say if other countries, such as China, don't join in the push for renewable energy, we will never be able to help the environment. But if somebody doesn't get the ball rolling, we will never be able to make a difference. And who better than those of us in the United States of America? So after reviewing what types of harmful systems are used to create our energy, and learning about alternative systems, as well as how to implement them, 
it is obvious that we need to be pursuing renewable energy. And it all starts right here at home. I encourage you to implement wind and solar energy systems, as well as always voting in favor of renewable energy subsidies. So in the end, you might not care what your Chinese symbol is or what crumb best describes your life. But I hope after today, everyone's scores say that they are very concerned about the environment.